I love anybody's birthday cake. Hey! I must have used too much yeast! Help! Help, Johan! Coming, Pee-wee! Behold! An eight-layered cake, Pee-wee! Showing off! Always showing off! Well, have you carried out my plan? I saw it. The royal tailor has already left the castle. That forged letter was a brilliant idea. <laughs> the tailor thinks his brother is ill. <laughs> Good. Now a little wild goose chase should keep the tailor away for days. I still don't see how that's going to make us rich. Because, dear Becca, we'll soon have the crown jewels. The king's crown jewels? But how? Leave that to me. After all, I am the king. <laughs> I can't wait for my birthday party down by the pond. Down by the old mill pond! There'll be you and me, and Sabina, and the Smurfs, and the cat. The cat? What can a goat do at a birthday party? I taught him to put out the candle. Nice trick, Pee-wee. Well, the candle's out, isn't it? Don't worry, the cat. I'll bake another cake. <laughs> what do you think of this goblet as a present? Is that the best you can do for my birthday? How stingy. It's not for your birthday. It's for Prince Morris, his wedding. Uh, Johan, what do you think? Well, it's quite unusual, even interesting. Uh, where did you find it, Your Majesty? Years ago, I received it as a present from Prince Morris's father. It looked just as cheap then. So I see. But to punish Prince Morris because of his father's stinginess might seem rather mean, sire. Johan's right, sire. It is rather mean. But do it anyway. <laughs> Can you suggest another suitable gift? Uh, something inexpensive. Perhaps worthless. Well, how about Pee-wee's lute? Hmm. No! No! Oh, it's probably too good for Prince Morris anyway. It is. It'll be the goblet then, unless I find something even more worthless before tomorrow. Tomorrow? I'm leaving tomorrow. But you'll miss my birthday party. I do wish I could be there. This is the perfect shade for a banquet coat. The gravy stains will never show. <laughs> Just a little tuck right here and... Oh! Oh, excuse me, sire. Where is Spencer, my regular tailor? Uh, uh, his brother, your highness, is extremely ill. His brother? Young Spencer has a brother? Hmm. What's wrong? I, I am so very tired. Uh, so very, very tired. That sleeping needle worked fast, Sora. Here! There. Now let's see. <laughs> A perfect likeness. Oh, Your Majesty, if the chance you have a moment, might we select the jewels Princess Sabina will wear at the wedding? Jewels? Oh, oh yes, the wedding jewels, yes. <laughs> yeah, lead on, good lady. Uh, my lord, uh, do I detect a certain change in your voice? Yeah, my voice? <coughs> yeah, I'm afraid I have a slight cold. You must preserve your health. After all, you are our king. Uh, the key, your highness. The key? Oh, yeah, oh, yes, the key. <laughs> the key. Yeah, this one? Thank you, Your Majesty. <gasps> Your Highness! <laughs> the cold! <coughs> um, for 
Princess Sabina. And for you, madam. Oh, your highness, you are so generous. Oh, sire, with all you have, isn't that rusty goblet a rather pitiful wedding present for Prince Morris? What? For who? Yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, uh, perhaps this plaster statue of the king, uh, uh, of myself. Oh, I see. Of course. Don't you recall, Your Majesty, I had it made for storing your private papers. So you did, so you did. Yes. Well, no matter. This is to be the present. And I must say, a very tasteful one. And now, madam, I wish to be alone with my thoughts. Of course, sire. Of course. And my jewels. <laughs> for soon all of this will be mine. <laughs> Now, I shall deposit this in the bushes outside, and Becker will pick it up with the wagon at daybreak. Don't worry, sire. I've got it. Who? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Johan! What are you doing here? The statue is about to fall, Dame Barbara. Yes, yes, I was just admiring it in the moonlight when it slipped. And luckily, uh, uh, Johan came to the rescue. Well, until we leave for the wedding, it must be safeguarded. But of course, of course. Take this statue and guard it well. With my life, sire. <laughs> Feeling any better, your highness? Dame Barbara, you have no idea how I feel. Come, Johan, the king needs his rest. Now I shall have to travel to the wedding with that old battle axe. But for the crown jewels, I can endure even that. <laughs> Nicely done, Sabina. Most ladylike. Thank you, Dame Barbara. Now, for some real riding. Hiya! Hiya! How does she get around so quickly? Dame uh, uh, Barbara? Your Majesty. Yeah, no, uh, please be certain Princess Sabina packs her necklace for the wedding. Its appearance, I, I, I mean, uh, her appearance is all important. Of course. Oh, and sire, may I suggest that for the safety of us all, we be escorted by twice the usual number of knights? <laughs> More knights? Oh, no, 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 no. All we need are drivers. True, Uncle. So what about Johan and Pee Wee? Oh, Sabina, those boys would be no match for robbers. Hmm. Yes, Sabina, fine idea. Johan and Peter will do nicely. Peter? Oh, that's Pee Wee. Uncle seems so distracted. Just the wedding, I suppose. I must send word to my men. And if anything goes amiss, you will attack at Falcon's Rock. Sorrel thinks of everything. Concentration and practice is all it takes, Johan. Concentration and... Johan! Pee-wee! I'm going to miss your birthday party with the Smurfs. Miss my birthday? Oh, I am sorry, Pee-wee. But duty and Dame Barbara demands I attend the wedding. Well, did you bring my present? Pee-wee, where are your manners? Did you bring my present, please? <laughs> no, but I brought you some wonderful news. You two are also coming to the wedding as our escort. No, that doesn't. Now I'm going to miss my own party. <laughs> my own personal birthday party. He hides his disappointment so well. <laughs> you laugh now, knaves. But wait till Johan finds you, and he will. Even now, he and Pee Wee are scouring the countryside. I know it. Carefully, Pee-wee. Carefully. I'm careful. I'm careful. Oh, my statue. Oh, no. Got it, Your Majesty. Oh. Pee-wee, how could you be so clumsy? I'm just keeping Johan on his toes, Dame Barbara. What a lovely day. What a lovely day. The sun is bright and we're on our way. What a lovely day. No rain in sight, no clouds of rain. We're on our way, you be hurry! What a lovely day! Why am I singing? The Smurfs will be waiting at the pond for my birthday party, and I'll be at the stupid wedding. Pee Wee, I'm sure the Smurfs will understand and save their presents for you. They better, or I'll never play for the king again. Hello! I am the king! I demand to be rescued! At last, someone's coming. Oh dear, 
Oh, go away. A wolf pack. If I don't get out of here, maybe rubbing his ropes against the bark. Oh, Papa Smurf, I wish all the Smurfs could have come. So do I, Smurfette. But because it's harvest time and there's so much work to be done, the royal coach, hurry. This rock slide will block the trail and we'll attack. Oh no, you fool! The whole hill is crumbling! Hang on! What's the meaning of this? Who's throwing rocks? It's a landslide! I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. What a birthday! Ten tons of falling rock! Mama! Time for a detour! But there's no road! This road is certainly overgrown! Blast! They've turned off! Those young drivers have more courage than Sorrel gave them credit for. Don't worry, things will go better at Falcon's Rock. <laughs> Made it, Pee-wee. Pee-wee, have you found the road yet? Say, aren't we near the pond? Ah, the harp is truly smurfy, but the playing... Oh, Papa Smurf, a coach! The royal coach? Pee-wee's traveling in style on his birthday. But why isn't it stopping? Please, Johan, can't we stop? Can't we? I want my birthday present. We're already late for the wedding, Pee-wee. The king will be upset. <laughs> Pee-wee? Whoa! <laughs> Johan, why are we stopping? Pee-wee's just stretching his legs, sire. I'll go get him. I think I'll stretch my legs, too. Wait, Johan! Sabina! A proper princess does not stretch her legs. You mean there won't be a Smurf Day party, Pee-wee? Sorry, Greedy. We're driving the king to a wedding. Johan, Princess Sabina. Hello, Smurfs. Oh, Princess Sabina, you look Smurfier than ever. So do you, Smurfette. Johan, we cannot delay any longer. What? Good day, Your Majesty. Good day to you, little fellow. Oh, little fellows. We're no little fellows. We're Smurfs. Don't you remember us? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course I do, yes. But alas, we are due shortly at Falcon's Rock. And I, I mean the wedding. Yes, the wedding calls. Yawn, Pee-wee, Sabina. And so does Dame Barbara. Goodbye, my loyal Sturfs. Uh, uh, Slurfs. Uh, uh, subjects, uh, Johan, onward! I'm sorry, Papa Smurf. I hate to take a present and run. By the way, is this heart my birthday present? Yes, Pee-wee. Happy birthday! Oh, <laughs> I love it! Oh, what a lovely day! Oh, what a lovely day! Come on, Pee-wee, we must be going. Goodbye, Smurfs. Thank you for the birthday present. I love it! Oh, what a lovely day! Oh, what a lovely day! <sighs> it's no use. These ropes are too strong. What a fine day this has turned out to be. I've got my heart, and my heart's got me. Oh, I have it's such a headache. My good lady, I if you listen to that soothing music, your headache me. will vanish. Vanish? I wish Pee-wee would vanish. The king me. must be getting tone deaf. He's certainly not himself today. La, 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 la. And they sound hungry. Hmm. Wolves never hunt this early in the day. Something's not quite smurfy. We'd better take a look. The day is fine. My heart is mine. This will stop that coach for sure. I'm ready to find old lady, lady. Get ready, Becker. Now! Hang on! Uh, but it can't be, can it? Ow! Ow! Whoever he is, he needs our help. 
Nobody move. Easy now. Yeah. Oh, Pee Wee. Right, Johan. Come on, horsey. Come on. No. Stay away. Stop. This human is our friend. Now go away and leave him be. Oh, my Smurfs. You have saved my life. Your Majesty, it is you. But how? Where is your coach? Oh, and Johan and Pee-wee and Sabina. They are in terrible danger. We must find them. I'll explain as we go. What caused the accident, Johan? It was no accident, Princess. Nor is this. <laughs> your jewels or your lives. Let her go, scoundrel, or face the consequences. Please do not harm us. Our valuables are in the back. Hey, put me down. Mm, this looks valuable. Let go of that. It's my birthday present. Becca, hey, what are you... Uh... No, Johan, don't. These men are dangerous. I'll teach you a lesson. No, I'll teach you. Do oh, you're gonna pay for this? <sighs> but maybe not right now. Yeah! Where are you, you little runt? Why, are you... I guess we showed them, Johan. But look what that varlet did to my birthday gift. And we're not through. Princess, into the coach. I'm sure if we just give them what they want, they won't get away. <laughs> Sabina, that was not very polite. But entirely <laughs> proper. <laughs> Don't you agree, Your Highness? Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Entirely proper. What a devilish plan. An imposter king to steal the crown jewels. Oh, Papa Smurf, the king should rest. You're right, Smurfette. Smurf here for a while, Your Majesty. My Smurfs will go on ahead. Yes, Papa Smurf. We must stop those villains, Papa Smurf. Don't worry, Your Majesty. We will. I hope. Oh, I've had enough. That's a first. But thanks. Mm. All this excitement has made me hungry. Watching you eat makes me lose my appetite. Ah, thanks. Anybody else? First the rock slide, then the ambush, and the strange behavior of the king. The king? What's wrong with the... What's wrong with the king? He eats like a bird, he doesn't remember the Smurfs, and he loves your music. What does that add up to? Well, let's see. He's on a diet, his memory's gone, and he's finally developed an ear for music. Pee-wee. I think he's an imposter. But what has he done with my uncle? I'll make him confess. No, Pee-wee. That might put the real king in even greater danger. Well, what will we do? We'll keep a close eye on this imposter. And perhaps he'll lead us to my uncle. Sabina, there you are. A proper princess does not whisper. Now, come along. Yes, Dame Barbara. Pee-wee, are you watching the imposter's tent? Oh, Pee-wee, you were supposed to pretend to sleep. You won't have to pretend, Johan. <laughs> Ouch! Johan? Johan? The imposter isn't in his bed. Sleep well, princess. <laughs> Any trouble? <laughs> They're sleeping like babies. The crown jewels are ours. Let's go. Yeah. Everyone's here. But they're asleep. And there goes the coach. With the crown jewels. Oh, dear. Johan, Pee-wee, please wake up. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, it's no use. Hey, you Smurf here, Jokey, until Papa Smurf comes. We'll catch the coach. Hi, Papa Smurf. Oh, dear, those villains must have used the sleeping pin on them. Some mandragon leaf should Smurf them up. <laughs> Maybe this surprise will make Pee-wee. <laughs> what? Hey! What? What? Pee-wee, you're awake. You can't fool me, you imposter. Where's the real king? Come on, talk. <laughs> Pee-wee, this is the king. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one can ever catch us now. Thank goodness you're safe, Uncle. Thanks, Murphness, the Mandragon worked. But how are we going to catch those villains? Wait a moment. 
Good work, Pee-wee. You had Bayard and Biquet follow us. Oh, I wish there was another horse. I'd go with you. It's a good thing Dame Barbara didn't hear that. Smurfette, we've smurfed off the main road. How will the others find us? Oh, if we can only mark our trail. Maybe we can, with the crown jewel. Which way, Pee-wee? If we choose wrong, the crown jewels are lost. No, they're not. I just found one of them. The Smurfs have left us a trail. Come on, Pee-wee. Yeah! And a diamond, an emerald, a sapphire, and a ruby. Pee-wee, we'll pick them up later. Later? Always later. Smurfette, we've run out of jewels. There's nothing left to smurf the trail with. Well, we don't need to leave a trail. Grady, look! It's Johan and Pee-wee! Johan, it's Harmony! I'd know that playing anywhere! Go, Biquet! Come on, Johan! <laughs> the crown jewels are ours! All ours! That's what you think, Knave! Johan! And his meddling pal, Pee-wee! You! Not so fast! You'll be sorry you came back. And that's how toothpicks are made. Get me out of here! I'm getting out of here! Oh. Hey! Whoa! Oh, Pee Wee! Oh, oh, he really got my goat. The cat. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here, fool? Get them! No, villain! Off you go! Get me out of here! Whoa! I'm glad you and Pee Wee. Looks like these three got in a little over their heads. Now can we pick up the crown jewels? Yes, Pee-wee. Now is a very good time. <laughs> this fancy stuff is for the birds. Look at the princess. Oh, Papa Smurf. And Athena looks smurfy. She certainly does, Smurfette. Pee-wee, our present. I, I'm coming. I'm coming. No, no, not there. There. Uh, maybe. Oh, no, you... Oh, over there. Uh, no, better still. No, I think better over there. I give up. Oh, yes, that will do nicely. Oh, your majesty, I... Oh, no. Don't worry, Dame Barber. Johan always saves the day. As a matter of... Alas, Pee-wee, not always. You clumsy little... Come back here. Oh, when I catch you... Oh, you're... 